Hey, what's up everybody? This is Concrete Zebra and today we're going to be going over how to find the BPM of a track. What's up everybody? It's Concrete Zebra. We're back with another one. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to find the BPM of a track. Um, this is really useful if you're trying to um, you know, trying to do a remake or trying to find the vibe of a certain track, or if you're trying to sample something, um, I was going through the new Wale album and I found this, um, this track helium balloon and it's got, um, it's got some really, uh, some really awesome drum programming. And I was just trying to figure it out. Um, I seen some questions on it on the beat generals forum. So I was, I was like, you know, let me, let me go ahead and check this out. And, you know, maybe I could break it down and help a few people. So the first thing that I do when I'm trying to, uh, you know, when I'm trying to break down drums, you know, you got to find the BPM of a track. So this track right here, it's a, it's a little, I chose this one uh, as a tutorial because it's a little bit more complex. It starts with this, uh, with this intro that has Seinfeld talking and then it's got, then it's got uh, this first beat here and then it's got the second main track. So it's, it's kind of tricky. Um... The part that I really want to know what's going on is this is this part over here. They left your moves made till you make moves. Achieving new feats every few eight shoes. Sixteen took a nigga dream different. Had SOBs looking like a new supreme in it. So I don't really need this stuff over here. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of that. You know, and all you gotta do is just bring your tool up, click and hold. Now I'll go ahead and zoom in. And what you want to do is you want to find that first kick. So that's it right here. Make a, you know, make a mental note of it with your eyes. Um, you know, get used to doing that. And you want to just you want to be really precise with this because this is this is going to make all the difference in the world um, when you're trying to match tempos. OK, so. Looks like I've got that pretty tight. That's the first kick. They left your moves made till you make moves. Yeah. Achieving new feats every. Now, the next thing that you want to do is find out where the first snare is. You know, you just listen and make a note with your eyes. I think I think this is it right here. They left your moves made to you. Yeah, see it happens right here. You know, this is this is a really, you know, if you if you listen to it, it's a really slow track. Um it sounds like one of them um one of them tracks where they're, you know, they're working at a at a regular hip hop tempo like um, you know, 85 or 90 or something and they've slowed it down into double time, which is which is cool. I like that. Um so that's to say that we're going to want to put this snare on the three so that um so that this will work in double time and then all you have to do is make sure that you know um you bring up this menu to the left called the inspector you just press i after you've highlighted your track and um depending on how you're laid out this will be um this will be uh hidden but all you have to do is drag this button or drag this menu down. You want to make sure it's set to time stretch, uh, drums, whatever. But just make sure it looks like this. That way, when you change the tempo of your song, the uh, the wave doesn't stretch. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to is I'm going to adjust the tempo until this three beat lines up with this snare. So here we go. All I'm going to do is just keep on taking it down. You see how that you see how the beats moving to the right now. Just keep on going. 90 looks kind of close. Let's keep going a little bit more. A little bit more. All right. So it's looking like it's around 88. Let's listen to it now. They left your moves made till you make moves. Yeah. Achieving new feats every few eight. All right, so then all you got to do to check yourself 
is set a loop and see and see if the song loops. They left your moves made till you make moves. Yeah. Achieving new feats every few eight shoes. They left your moves made till you make moves. Yeah. Achieving new feats every few eight shoes. They left your See, and it's and it's as easy as that. You know, if this was um the only difference between this and um say another song is if this was in straight time, you'd be lining your snares up on the twos and the fours instead of on the three. But since this is more of a slower type song, I could just tell uh, by listening to it that it was that it was going to be in double time. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, it's a, it's as easy as that. Uh, let's just do let's just do another one just to show um, how simple it could be. We we'll use we we'll use BMF for this one, okay? So, first thing you want to do, just get rid of that silence in the beginning. see for like for this one i would just i would just use this intro stomp um because it's kind of going one two three four and just and just line it up you know on these on the one two three four and then all you got to do you know check here make sure these settings are the same and adjust your tempo until you see the beat. These lines line up with these stomps. See, it's that easy, you know, just, just, you know, use your eyes, use your ears. This is an eyes and ears exercise and, you know, get to know this grid. And once you, you know, once you can sync up, you know, an instrumental with the beat, it makes everything so much easier. You can set, um, you can set your delays, um, a lot easier. You can set reverb times a lot easier. You can set LFOs a lot easier. So even for you guys that aren't making beats, if you're just, you know, recording your mixtape, you're going to want to know what the BPM is of your track. That way you could set, you know, your ping pong delays for your ad libs up or, you know, your reverb times and stuff like that. But anyhow, if you guys found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be dropping a lot more stuff, you know, like the video that helps the channel out a lot. Um, Sub, you know, subscribe uh, to my subscribers that you see commenting with me in the in the comments. They're all um, they're all really cool. You know, I mean, I enjoy interacting with you guys and, uh, you know, let's continue to build a community. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and we'll see you on the next one.